Welcome to the middle of Tasmania. Absolute sensational bushland covered in man-made walking structures. <laughs> Just in the Cradle Mountain area for Amanda's birthday uh, over the weekend. Happy birthday. And I thought I'd just pop out for a bit of a bush walk this morning. I've got my camera with me. Apparently there's some waterfalls down this way somewhere. I'm trying to... Uh, so, come along. I don't know how long this walk is. I think it's about 10 or 20 minutes. But, yeah, cracking, cracking Tasmanian day. So after a brief walk along the boardwalk, it has brought me out to the falls. Tell you what, with all the rain that we've been having and the snow up in the mountains, the waterfalls are actually quite dirty. Now I've just realized, I was just, I was literally about to walk away from this area thinking that there's no way that I could photograph these falls. And then over the river, I have seen that there's a man-made walkway all the way down to a platform that will be looking back towards the falls. I'm gonna get over there. I don't know how. Rain on the lens again. So waterfall in behind me, I've set this little little cover up so that I can get out of the sort of spray in the rain. So this is the shot that I've kind of ca it's kind of taken me in. So the waterfall is behind me, it's a fair bit of sort of spray coming off, so there was always water getting on the lens. But looking back this way, the water is just flowing beautifully. It's, it's quite quick today, the water, but shooting through these branches and through, through these trees, heading back downstream, there just seems to be a really nice shot here. This is the kind of shot that I'm getting. I think it's actually gonna come up really nice. Better than shooting a boring old waterfall. are actually sensational to be able to walk through this environment. I mean, there's no way in weather like this you could actually walk through this without just being covered in mud, slime and slop. Absolutely beautiful. And the sun is just starting to come out. And now it's raining again. Right now I'm going to try and find an image somewhere here. It's pretty loud. But it's pretty wild. Absolutely phenomenal. So there's not really something I want to take a photo of here, but what a sensational spot. Took me about half an hour to get here. Plenty of walking, plenty of steps. Sun's trying to come out.
absolutely beautiful. Got our camera, come back with me. Time to head back to the hotel. So after about an hour, hour and a half, just playing around with these waterfalls, walking through all this kind of area, I think it's time to head back. We are here for Amanda's birthday, so yeah, I don't want to spend the whole time out on my own. Go home, have some cake, get a coffee, maybe a nice cold amber beverage with lunch. But these waterfalls are just sensational. This is Knivet Falls. Knivet. So now just got a quick, oh, it's probably 15 minutes back to the car. Uh, along these footpaths that the, uh, that the Parks and Wildlife have put up. I know I mocked them early, but I mean, it does protect the rainforest and the, in the natural bushland, I suppose. Right, thanks for watching. As Lucas Chamberlain says, I'll uh, see you on the next video. Oh, they don't really want you to go off track, do they? Need something to put this on. <laughs>